Hey everybody, I'm Phineas Rage, and this is more Minecraft for Kids, and today we're going to talk about fighting monsters. Now, this is a little different than my previous episodes, because uh, that whole world save file got deleted, so it's gone forever. So that's too bad, but I built a new one, so let's, let's talk about it now. Alright, so I've, I've set up a bunch of different things here, so we can take a look at how to make what we need to, to make. So first off, these are swords, and of course we need swords to fight monsters, right? Now, these are wooden swords, and these are terrible. We never, we never want to use these. These are, these are awful. Only in the most dire of emergencies we want to use these. Uh, similar to golden swords, right? These, uh, these are even worse than wooden swords, and that they get used up and they break a lot faster than wooden swords do, and they don't do very much damage. So these are, these are for fun, not for reals. All right, and let's think of this. Now, here's a stone sword. It's a lot better than this, and you can make it almost as soon as you can make one of these. So you can make this probably in your first few minutes at any world you start, right? And it's, it's good. It lasts for a decent amount of time. It does some decent damage. But soon you'll have iron, and you're going to start making iron swords. And this is what you're going to use for a long time. They do really good damage. They last for a good period of time. But once you find diamonds, that's what you're going to want. They'll last for a really long time. They do a bunch of damage. So they do the most damage of anything. And that's why I've got one right here. Right? So let's take a look inside the chest here. And this is the recipe for how you make any type of sword. Right? So it's just a stick at the bottom and then two of the material you're using like that. And that's how you make swords. All right? Simple. Great. Let's look at this now. The bow and the arrow. These, this is really good. These are super important, right? Uh, the bow lets you attack from range, and, and you need the arrow to shoot from the bow, clearly. Uh, so let's take a look at that real quick. So the bow is made like this. It's three sticks and three string, right? Like a bow. It makes perfect sense. And an arrow, you take flint, which you can get from digging up gravel, right? And dig a stick and you take a feather, which you can get from chickens, you put them like this, and that makes four arrows, all right? So that's pretty good. One of these like that, and then four arrows, that's really good. Nice, so that's the bow and arrow, and we're gonna go over how to use these things in more detail later. So, now here's the armor. Now we have all sorts of different types of armor, right? Uh, we have the chest plate, and the boots, and the pants, and the helmet, right? And we're gonna talk about them all the same. Now this is leather, this is chain mail, this is iron, this is diamond, and this is gold. Okay, now, again, these are more for fun than for anything else. Gold, you can put a lot of magic on when we do magic, and we'll talk about magic later uh, in a different episode. Uh, and, and leather, you can turn into different colors using different dyes, and so those, those are fun. These, these are the real serious armors, though. This is what you really want. Now, you can't actually make this. Chainmail, you can't make. You have to find it and buy it from villagers, and we'll talk about villagers in another episode. And over here, this is iron. This is the armor you'll use a lot of the time, right? Because iron is a good metal. You'll find it in a lot of places. And this is, this is good. Iron armor is really good. And in fact, once you have iron armor, you, you can feel pretty safe, right? But diamond armor, when you have enough diamonds, like diamond armor is the absolute best. It's absolutely amazing. So let's talk about how to make chest plates real quick. See, now you take the material you want, so leather or diamond or or iron or gold, and you make this pattern, right? You remember this? It's like it's like a shirt. Like your head, your neck comes out through here, and like your arms would be, you know, over here, essentially. Uh, and so that's how you make a chest plate. So you want and chest plates offer the most protection out of all the different armor. So you want that, you want that first, and then pants are best after that, and then a helmet, and then boots. Okay. Uh, so shirt, pants, hat, boots. There you go. Uh, so let's take a look at boots real quick. Again. The materials are the same strength, right? You always want diamond. Diamond's always the best. And this is how you make boots. Two like that and two like that. See? One for each foot. That's pretty simple. Pants look just like pants, right? Easy to do. And then diamond helmets or all helmets look like that. Remember, you can use these materials here to make helmets as well. They'll just be like that, right? So let's take a look what a full suit looks like. These are armor stands I made. And diamond suit looks like that. This looks really good. Uh, and here's the, the iron suit, a leather suit. I haven't changed any colors on it. Uh, there's gold. And over here, this is chain mail. And chain mail is kind of funny looking, but it's kind of cool too. And you can only get it uh, from, from buying it. So that's, so that's fun. So we'll talk about that in, in a different episode. And now we're going to talk about monsters. So here I have a bunch of different monsters in cages, and I should point out, I did this in creative mode because this would be very difficult to do, perhaps impossible, in survival. So let's start talking about these monsters, and then soon we'll go over how to fight each one of them, right? So this is a skeleton. Skeletons are kind of dangerous because they have a bow, and they can shoot you from a long distance, right? And that, and that hurts a bit. So in order to fight them, 
is we're going to want to have a bow yourself, right? That's the best option, to have a bow yourself. But we'll talk about that more in the future. Now, when you, when you kill a skeleton, they will almost always drop, well, in fact, they always drop a bone, maybe two bones, and an arrow, maybe two arrows, right? Sometimes they'll drop a bow, but it's a pretty beat up bow. It's been used a lot. And sometimes, very rarely, they'll drop like a magic bow, right? And so you get lucky if that happens. Now, creepers, you probably all know creepers, right? And he can't see me. Right? Also, it's creative mode, so it doesn't matter, but he can't see me, so he's not going to blow up. But if we get too close to him, right, he blows up, blows up a bunch of stuff, and none of us like that. Right? So remember, if you get a creeper, you get gunpowder at the end of it. You use gunpowder to make TNT later and fireworks and stuff like that, fireworks especially. So that's fun. Hello? Hello? Okay. Now up here, look at this guy. Look, look at him way up there. That's a spider. Spiders like to climb, and he's climbed right up the glass right up there. So now here's the thing. A spider up there is pretty dangerous, right? If a spider is above you, they can jump down and get you and that's that's pretty dangerous. So you want to be you want to be above spiders when you fight them. You want to be above them, you want to be jumping. And we'll talk about different ways to to circle strafe too. That's a technique we'll talk about in fighting. So let's talk about spiders and what you get. String sometimes and spider eyes sometimes. Spider eyes are only good for potions much later in the game, and we'll talk about potions in a different episode. And string, you need string for bows, right? So string is very important for bows and for fishing rod and, and stuff like that. So those are spiders. Now, notice it's daytime right now. Uh, if we saw this spider right now in the day, he wouldn't be hostile to us. He would be a nice little spider. He wouldn't attack us, and we could leave him alone because it's daytime, right? But at night, in the dark, spiders get really mean. So we'll just, we'll just leave him there for now. Now, let's talk about this. Who's this guy? That's a zombie. Now, zombies zombies are dangerous, right? Now, by themselves, not so bad, because they're really slow, okay? And, and you don't really have to worry about them. Now, I said don't worry about them, but what I meant is by themselves, right? Now, if you see one zombie, you can, you can run away. You can run away pretty easily, right? Because they're slow, they can't get you. But if you see a couple zombies, well, that's all of a sudden a problem, because they hit pretty hard, right? And if you hit a zombie there's a very good chance that somewhere in the dark, nearby, another zombie will appear, right? So it's very, very easy to suddenly have, like, five zombies on you, and you're like, now what do I do? There's five zombies, and they're appearing behind you, and it's absolutely awful, right? So be very careful about them, and we'll, we'll, show, you, we'll show you how they work later. And remember, now when you get a zombie, um, they'll almost always drop rotten flesh, right? Which is gross and has no use. Uh, and sometimes they'll drop an iron ingot. That's cool. And sometimes they'll drop a potato or sorry, a potato or a carrot. And that's really cool if you haven't found a village yet. But we can talk about those things later. And that comes in when we talk about farming. Alright? Now what's this? Who's this person? This is a witch. Now witches you usually only find in swamps. Well actually that's not true. You used to be you only found them in, in swamps. Now you find them in the dark places just like everything else. And witches are pretty dangerous. Uh, they throw potions at you, and they have healing potions they use on themselves, and they can use all sorts of, you know, stuff on themselves. And they throw stuff at you that's awful, like poison, and this hurts you, and it's it's awful, right? So, uh oh, oh, look, she's thinking magical thoughts in there. Okay, be careful. Now, you want to have a bow to fight a witch, if at all possible, but we'll talk about them more later. And now, when you get a witch, they'll drop either sticks or redstone or an empty bottle maybe or some glowstone sometimes or gunpowder. And sometimes, if you're really, really lucky, they might even drop a potion, right? Uh, so that would be cool. But don't count on it. It doesn't happen very often, right? Now, now this in here, in this cage, uh, I used to have some silverfish, but they seem to have escaped. So, again, I'm in creative, so I'm just going to spawn a couple in so you can see what they look like. Okay, there we go. And... Now they can jump through a one a one block hole, right? So I had to close this off quickly, or else they'd be out here. Now silverfish, you only find these in certain places. They hide in blocks usually, right? And if you're digging a block and it seems like the block is taking a bit too long to break, longer than usual, that means there's a silverfish in it. So, you know, don't maybe don't break that block. But if you do, and a silverfish gets out and you hit it, any other silverfish that are hiding in blocks nearby can pop out of those blocks. So you have to be careful, because very quickly you can become overwhelmed with these, much like the zombies, right? Uh-oh. It's getting dark out. I'm going to change it to daytime so we can talk more safely. Ta-da! I did it. I made it daytime. Okay. So, those are silverfish. We talked about those. We'll be very careful with those guys, and we'll, we'll, we'll deal with how to fight them later. Uh, they don't drop anything, so I didn't put anything in this chest. But over here, that's a cave spider. See, it's like the other spider, but it's smaller. Right? Okay, so they're small. They can fit through a, uh, this hole right here. So I open this up. They could come right out at us, right? Now, they're small, 
Okay, and they drop the same things that a regular spider does, but they can also poison you. When they hit you, they poison you. And poison is really, really bad. It hurts a lot. And we'll talk about poison uh, when we talk about fighting cave spiders. That'll come up soon. And lastly, let's talk about... Whoa! Hello! Let's talk about slimes. Look at this. There's three different sizes of slimes. Okay? And slimes are kind of slow, but when they get close to you and they see you, they start running at you. So you have to be very careful, because the big slime there hits really hard and does a lot of damage. And when you, when you, when you kill this one, it turns into four of these right here. And when you kill these, they turn into four of those little ones over there. Now the good news is the little ones can't hurt you, right? And you can just punch them and they go away. But these ones, they still hit pretty hard, right? So when you hear that squish sound, hear that? Yeah, that means there's slimes around. So you, so you be you be really careful. Now slimes drop slime balls, right? And slime balls can be used for all sorts of things. Like you can use them to make lassos uh, and you know leads for for pets and animals. You can use them to make sticky pistons, and you can use them to make slime blocks and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And we'll talk about what you can do with slime in a different episode because there's so much you can do with slime that we'll we'll talk about it, and it's a whole different episode. Now there's one other type of monster that that I'm going to talk about today that I couldn't put in a cage because they teleport. And it's called the Enderman. Have you ever seen an Enderman before? Here, they look like that. Okay? And they can, now careful, don't look at them. Oh, see? Oh, where, where'd he go? He teleported. He could be anywhere now, right? We don't even know. And maybe he'll teleport back. We don't know. Um, but take a look at this. Oh, well, well, there he goes. Okay, you know what? We're going to talk about Endermen when we fight them in the arena. And we're going to go to the arena right now so we can fight these monsters for real and teach you how that works. See that? It's over there. It's over there. Okay, so I have gone to the arena. I've got my armor on. It's made of diamond, my diamond sword. And I went into creative and got a bunch of uh, monster spawning eggs so I can spawn them in here but also fight them in survival mode so you actually see how it works. All right, so we're going to get started with that. We're going to start get started with the enderman. Okay, so I have this enderman egg here. Let's, let's put one in the arena. Okay, now see, he's fine right now. Whoop, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Whoop, where'd he go? Okay, so that's what they do. They teleport around, right? And they're fine. They're, they're friendly people until... Whoop. Okay, wait, here's get another one. Until you look at them. Oh, look. Look at them. Hey, man. Why aren't you angry at me? What's... Oh, he's making the angry sound. He's not... Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he's angry now. Uh oh where'd he go? Okay, so here's the thing. They're going to teleport around. So what you want to do is get under this ledge. Like this. You hear that sound? That's them being angry. So let's, let's try to get one here. I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to hit him. Gonna, here we go. He's going to come at me. Since I'm under this ledge, he can't actually reach me. Right? And, man, I don't know. He's around. So, but that's... You don't really want to fight Endermen out in the world, right? Unless you got a, a place like this and you're ready to have them come at you because... They hit really hard, and out here in the open, they'll teleport all around you. You won't know where they are. And in fact, while I'm fighting other stuff, one of those angry ones might come back here. I don't know. Hopefully not. All right, so let's 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 not worry about them. They're hard to track down, but remember that. Get under a ledge, right? It's only too high because they're three blocks high, okay? And and stay there and fight them that way. All right. If you're out here in the field, right, and you can't get away from them, maybe have something at your back like this so they can't get behind you. You can keep looking like this, or you know, also just keep spinning and looking for them. But that's that can get you pretty dizzy and and pretty excited. So you know, watch out for that. Now let's talk about silverfish real quick. All right, I got some more of these as well. So these guys aren't a big deal, right? Like they chase you around a bit, and like ah, oh, oh, they chase you around. But as long as you just kind of slowly back up and hit them once and hit them just one more time, look at that. They don't they don't have very many hit points, so it doesn't take much to to hurt them, right? So, you know, throw a few of them out there. There we go. They don't even have to back up sometimes. Just stand still, be calm, do one click at a time. Now, sometimes you want to go like this, ah, ah, but those don't always, those don't always work. Okay, now look, it's becoming, well, by that I mean all of these, not all of those count as hits, right? Sometimes you're just clicking extra. So, let's, let's take a look. It's getting dark now. Let's try to get some spiders out here. And let's see if it's dark enough that they'll fight us. Okay. Oh, yep, here they go. Okay, they're coming after us. So I want to get up above. Oh, they're going to jump. So I want to get up above them, but I can't. Uh-oh. So now I want to fight this guy. I'm going to circle strafe him. Okay, do you know what circle strafe is? I'm going to go to the left. 
I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna block him. I'm gonna go to the left or the right. I'm gonna keep turning my mouse in the other direction. Uh oh, I'm in the water now. And again, spiders in water, pretty dangerous because they can jump right on you, all right? So let's talk about that circle strafing thing. So let's show that off a little bit more. All right, so here he comes. I'm gonna move around him in a circle like this, okay? But I'm actually gonna swing at him as I do. All right, see, look, that's much easier. Okay, let's try another one. There he goes. Well, he jumps at me, I hit him then, also good. So when they jump at you, move back, I hit him. If they're coming at you, move around him in a circle and hit him like that. Remember, stay calm, okay, stay calm. I, I do it myself sometimes. I'm like, ah, ah, get away from me, get away. But if you can do it, if you can do it and stay calm, right, it'd be much easier. See, look, bam, bam. Let's do that, simple, easy peasy, okay? So that's a spider. Now I'm gonna go get some more eggs out of creative and we'll show you some other cool stuff we can do. Okay, so I'm back from creative and as you can see, I got a bunch of other spawning eggs here. So I can show you more, more of these, uh, more of these things to fight. So I also got a bow and I got a lot of arrows and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna just fill this up. Now remember, if your hunger isn't full, you're not gonna generate health. You see that I'm missing half a heart there? Boom, and now I've healed because I'm fully filled up on apples, all right? So here we go. Let's take a look at, at what to fight next. A slime? Yeah, let's try some slimes. Let's try some slimes. So first off, we throw some slimes out there. That's a big one. Okay, now watch. Is he, when he gets, see, I can block him, right? He doesn't, he doesn't know how to get to me. He's like, aha, because he's not too smart, all right? But if he gets a clear line, here he comes. Oh, whoa, look how fast he goes. Whoa, whoa. And he jumps too. Now he jumps pretty high, and when he jumps and hits you, it hurts. Watch. Ah, ah, okay. Now I'm wearing diamond armor, so it doesn't hurt too bad, but. Ah, ow, get away. Now also, you can hold the right click. Ow, to block with a sword. Ouch. Ow, uh, ow, like that. Run away, run away, run away. Um, you can do that to block with a sword and take less damage. Um, and remember, I'm wearing iron, sorry, diamond armor and stuff, so I'm. I'm in the best possible shape to fight this guy. Whoa, but still, you want to be you want to be careful, right? So you can kind of get him trapped on these things if you want, but eventually you're going to want to get him trapped. Boom, it hit him. Now you want to hit him and step back, all right? Hit him and step back. And then four of these guys come at you. Hit them, step back, same thing. Okay, now the little ones can't hurt you, but they get in the way of your sword, all right? So bang, hit that one. Keep moving around. Don't worry about the little ones. You can run right by them. See, no big deal. Yeah, here come these two really small medium ones. Here we go. And we're going to bam like that. And this one, we're going to let him come right to us. And bam. There we go. Look at all these little guys. Look at all these little guys. Okay, so they can't hurt you. So actually, we're going to just hit him with just hit him with apples. Boom. And see, th see, they drop slime balls. These are slime balls we want. We want them for other stuff. There we go. And are you the last one? You're the last one. Okay, so that's slime. Those are slimes. And that's how you fight them. It's, they can be scary, they hit pretty hard, but if, as long as you're careful, you'll get them every time, okay? So let's see, that's slimes, what else we got here? Skeletons, okay, now, it's daylight, and skeletons and zombies both burn in the daylight, so I'm gonna set this to night uh, before we can actually do this for real, so well, watch, watch this, I'm gonna change it into night right away. Ta-da, night time. Okay, I, used, I went to creative mode to do that, okay, so here we go, let's try to get some, some skeletons. Let's throw one over there. Okay, I went over there. Okay, let's run away to see if we can. Now see, okay, now they're looking for us. See, oh, you see that? Ow, they're looking, they're gonna shoot arrows at us. Oh, oh, ow, ooh, see that? Ow. Now, don't be in water, right? Because you're like, oh, I'm trying to get at you, but they keep shooting you. Ow, ooh. And if there were more water back here, they would keep shooting me back into water, and I wouldn't be able to get to them, and I'd be trapped. So you can see how horrible it is. Now, when you're fighting skeletons, ha, see that? Sometimes you can make them shoot each other if you line them up just right. Ouch, oh, yeah, these guys really hurt. Okay, so oh, so sometimes they get too close. You can just click them. See, look at that. I clicked a bunch of times. Like I said, not to. So you keep running around in circles, but you click them, boom, move away. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Makes them back off a little bit. Whoop, oh, okay, there he goes. Okay, here, he's coming at you. Wait for him to come around the pillar. Oh, there he is. Oh, he went the other way. I should have been peeking this way. But if you can get him this way, sometimes you get him around the pillars. Let's try it again. Let's try. Well, let me eat first. Oh man, I'm really badly hurt. Those guys really hurt me. They shot me with a lot of arrows. I guess I let them. I kind of I let them do that, so that's my own fault. Let's make two more. Okay, now let's run away over here. So they're there. Now they can see us. They're going to take shots at us, right? And we try to get them that way. Oh, look, they're flanking us. They're flanking us. You try to draw them around a pillar if you can. Now, that's, that's the roughest way to fight skeletons. What you really want is your own bow, all right? Ouch. So you can do this. 
Okay, and run some more. And what you're eventually gonna do is set up around a pillar, you get your bow ready, okay, and get, boom, you get out of the way. Bam, again, you're gonna run some more, and, oh man, boom. And still it can be pretty difficult, right? It can be pretty hard. So skeletons are dangerous. As long as you have a lot of armor, you'll be okay. But, you know, let's throw a few more in there. Uh-oh, skeletons. Now, optimally, get behind this thing, come out, pop. One shot, bam, just like that. Pop. Okay, he got me that one, but still, I got I got him three times, and he only got me the one, so. This one doesn't see us yet, so we're going to sneak up on him. Now he sees us. And we're going to use this pillar oh, to get in the way. And the longer you pull back on a bow, the farther the arrow is going to go. And, and there we go. The farther it's going to go. Wham! Okay, I think he even does more damage. I'm not sure, but I can look that up. Boom, and there we go. Three times. See that? Easy. Also, if you shoot an arrow and you miss, you can go pick it up. As long as it's your arrow, you can pick it up. Okay? So that's good. Now, that's that's skeletons. Let's talk about zombies. Now, zombies will also burn in the sunlight. Uh, so we're going to... It's a good thing it's nighttime and it's raining. So let's, let's bring them out. Zombies. That's a regular zombie. Now, notice, by himself, he's not he's not a big deal. He's not particularly scary. Right? I can just run away from him. There's, I can walk away. He can't catch me if I just walk away. They look, I, walk, I can't, even, he can't even walk backwards. Okay, he can't get me. So, they're really simple, right, by themselves. But look, it's pretty dark in here. So when I hit him, boom, like that, I back away as I do. I press backwards and hit at the same time. There's a chance he'll spawn another zombie. All right? Okay, good. Now, I don't, I don't see another one, so that's good. Oh, look, he dropped a potato. Oh, that's, that's rare. That's rare. So, now, no more zombies spawned. It might be because um, of how big the arena is. It might not be big enough. So, I'm going to spawn a bunch of zombies, and I'm going to show you how dangerous they can be when there's a bunch of them. Okay, so there's a lot of zombies. Okay? Now let's observe. Still there's slow. See that guy right there? He's different looking, isn't he? Okay, that's a zombie villager. Oh, careful. Uh oh Too many zombies. Um, th there he is. He's special. He's a zombie villager. And we'll talk more about zombie villagers. Whoa, lightning! We'll talk more about zombie villagers uh, in the, the villager episode. Okay, but now there's a lot of them. You see the problem? So you kind of got a circle strafe, right? This way? Okay, let's remember that. You move one way and turn the mouse the other way. He still got me. But you want to kind of do it as you back away, too. With zombies, you need to back up. Now, normally, if this were, you know, if I were out in the world, I would just run away from this. I would not fight all these zombies, because this is very dangerous. See, it's fine. You can keep them back. But if you make a mistake once, they start hitting you, and then... Oh, this is good. This is our best-case scenario. Okay, we want to get him in water if we can. Zombies in water are the easiest thing to fight. Let's watch. There you go. Because he's too slow. He can't get to us. He's going to try. Oh, oh, wait. He's smart. He got out of the water. All right. Well, let's, okay. Let's, let's, we have a bow. Let's just, let's just, let's use the bow. Bows are good for everything, right? Bows are best for, for creepers and skeletons, but, oh, and witches, but, you know, you can, you can use them for anything. Let me eat some apples, because, again, I'm not healing. Get some apples in there. Okay. That's much better. Let's see. I'll wait for a couple of hearts to come back. There you go. So they start, they start coming back. So let's see, what do we got here? Zombie, Enderman, we saw those. Oh, Enderman, by the way, get hurt by water. So Enderman in the rain keep teleporting around until they find a dry spot. So that's pretty funny. Do you hear those other zombies? They're probably, probably all on the other side of this wall because of the other zombies I was hitting. That's really funny. So anyway, uh, that's probably where they all spawned on the other side of the wall. So there's probably a bunch of zombies out there. All right, so let's, let's see which one's Enderman, Cave Spider. Let's talk about Cave Spiders. Well, there's an underman. See that? There's one of those guys. There he goes. The rain made him. He's like, ouch, the rain. All right. So cave spiders, they're very small, right? They're fast, though, and they jump at you pretty quickly. All right? But so you back up, and, and you'll probably be okay. All right? Let's do another one. There we go. Now you can try to circle strafe him. Oh, there you go. But he got me once. Now look, I'm poisoned. Now what does poison mean? Well, look, it's, it's still hurting me. All right? I'm just standing here, and it's still hurting. And now it's finally over. Now the thing is, poison will hurt you over time, but it will never actually kill you. At the most, it'll leave you at half a heart, which is still horrible. So try not to get poisoned. And we can talk more about uh, poison in later episodes, but remember, if you have milk, which you can get from cows, you can drink milk, and that'll cure poison. So let's keep that in mind for later. All right, so those are cave spiders, and but usually you'll see not one, you'll see like two of them, and you're like, oh, and you got to be careful to run away from them, jump over the water, like that. Hey, and just kind of circle strafe them a little bit. Perfect. There you go, see? That's not too hard. All right, so let's see. What else did we want to talk about? We had some more stuff. Look at, oh my goodness. Look at all these arrows the skeletons shot into me. That's so many arrows. All right, see, so creeper will do last. Witches, let's talk about witches. Okay, 
Let's also just eat an apple because I want to be full if I'm going to fight a witch. Okay, so this is a witch. There she is. Now, she doesn't see me yet. Let's say I've got a sword and I want to fight her. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go after you. Let's, let's assume she can see me first. Oh, okay. She's, what's she going to do? What's she going to do? Whoa, she threw a potion. That's a poison potion. Ow, that really hurts. Ah, let's just do a hurt you potion. That also really hurts. Ow. I don't know what that was. Probably slowness. So now notice I'm very badly hurt. Ouch. I can still try to hit her like this. Now she's drinking a health potion. See? So, oh, she drank another one. And because I got her while she was drinking it, I also got a health potion. Oh, what luck. Here, let's, let's, let's use this right now. Look, Sam, down two hearts. No problem. Glug, 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 glug. Boom. Fixed. All right, throw that bottle away just because I wanted to. All right, so that's a witch. Now, the best way to fight a witch, though, is from a distance with a bow, all right? And to keep keep the distance, try to keep stuff in between you, all right? She's going to drink a healing potion and other potions. I think it's a speed potion. But as long as you have a bow and you stay far away, they're really not very difficult, okay? So let's not worry about them anymore. Now, what else do we have? The last thing we have left are creepers, okay? So there's a couple ways to fight creepers, and we're going to go over them all. So here's, there's a creeper. All right, so let's, first off, you want to keep them away from you with bow if you can, all right? Don't let them get too close, because you know what happens, they get too close. Okay, so that's three shots with a bow. All right, three arrows for one creeper. That's pretty, it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. All right, let's, here, let's take this. Nom, 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 nom. Now, the other way you can fight creepers is with your sword. And this is probably the most common way you're going to do it. Okay, so there he goes. Now you're going to double tap or dash forward, hit him once, and you're back away. Okay, do the same thing. Hit him once and back away. Okay, and then usually one more time. There you go. Nice job. That's how you do it. So let's go over that one more time. Now double tapping, remember, is you hit W twice quickly and hold it down a second time like that. That's so you can run. Or if you have a control key on your keyboard, you just hit that once while you're moving and you'll start to sprint like that. Now that uses up more hunger, but we'll talk about that in the uh, parkour episode. Okay, so let's talk about this creeper one more time. Let's get him out there. All right, now creepers don't burn in sunlight, like zombies and skeletons do, and they don't become friendly in the sunlight, like spiders do. They always want to chase you around, and they always want to blow up all your stuff. Now listen. He doesn't make much sound, does he? Whoa, whoa, that was him getting close. And the closer he is, if he stays close to us for too long, he'll blow up. Now he's in water, which is good, because water, if he blows up, it doesn't do as much damage. But let's, let's get him out of here first. And one more time. Let's gonna knock him back into water. See? Okay. That's good. We're going to hit him one more time. Bam. And always want to dash forward like that and then leap back as soon as you hit him. All right? Create as much distance between the two of you as you can. And that way, uh, he won't blow up. Now, be careful. Sometimes there's a creeper behind you as well, and that's terrible. So, let's talk about that. What happens when creepers? When there's problems with creepers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He thinks I'm too close. Here we go. I'm going to block, and I'll let this happen. Oh, wow. These, wow. Now, it didn't hurt any of the stone. It wasn't close enough, and the water's okay, but look at the sand and the dirt. Now, sand and dirt is soft. Oh, wow, you got this stone, too. Wow. You have to be pretty close to get stone. Stone's pretty hard. Let's let's do this again, because I'm wearing, you know, like, really good armor still, so that's fine. Let's another, here's another creeper. Let's let's put two creepers, and let's see what happens. Can we get them both to blow up? Yep, one, two. Bam. Look at that. Crazy. Remember, I'm wearing really good armor, okay, and I was blocking by holding right-click, so I wasn't taking as much damage. Uh, but let's let's remember let's, what happens. What happens if you see a creeper, you know, and you're not blocking? What happens if there's a creeper, you know, out in the world? There we go. And you're like, do to do, walk around. Like, oh, what a nice, lovely day it is. I get out here. What a lovely day. And the creeper doesn't see you yet. Whoa! What the? Oh! Ow! So uh, that happens. So be really careful. You don't you don't want that to happen. Now, it, it occurred to me while I was fixing all the holes in my arena after the creeper blew me up uh, that I left out something very important called critical hits, okay? Now, I jumped there for a reason. Uh, critical hits are hits that make little stars come off the, en the, uh, the enemy and they do more damage, right? And you get a critical hit by falling downwards and striking at the same time. So let's, let's demonstrate. Let's make, let's make a couple zombies, okay? I'm going to get up here. I'm going to jump. Boom, as I'm falling down, see that? Boom, I hit him and get the stars. So I don't have to be above him. It makes it a little easier sometimes. But really what you want to do is, here he goes. You jump up and you swing it down at the same time. So while you're moving downwards through the air, boom. Okay, there you go. Same thing happens if you're falling. 
as long as you're moving downwards through the air and you swing, that's your critical hit. So try to get those as often as you can. Okay, well, I think we all learned something today. Uh, don't get blown up by creepers. That's awful, right? I hope I uh, went over the monsters there in a way that made sense to you and was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we can, we can talk about them more. Now, there's lots of other monsters in the game, but we'll talk about them in different episodes because they're in the nether and they're in the end. So let's not worry about them for now, okay? In any case, I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.